Welcome to the introduction of First Principles. If you would like more content like this, be sure to smash that like button. Differentiating from First Principles, there is a particular rule that must be used. This rule is the limit rule. The limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. In this question, it says to differentiate x squared from first principles. Using our new formula, we shall find out what the differentiation of x squared is. Let's suggest f of x is equal to x squared. Now, looking at our formula, we can see we must find out what f of x plus h is. So, to find f of x plus h, simply sub in x plus h in the value of x. This will give you x plus h whole squared. So, simplify this and it should give you x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now looking back at our formula, we have the value of f of x plus h and f of x. So let's sub this back in. So the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, which we now know is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus f of x. At the beginning of our working out, we said, let's suggest f of x is equal to x squared. So, we would write minus x squared, since the sign is minus. Now, divide all of this by h. Whenever working with limits, every step of working out should start with the limit sign. So, let's simplify this. We can cancel out x squared and minus x squared because that will give you 0. So our next line of working out would be the limit as h approaches 0 2xh plus h squared divided by h. Now see if you can solve this and get rid of the h in the denominator. So looking at the numerator, we can factorize this. So let's take out the h to factorize this. So the limit as h approaches 0 of h times 2x plus h divided by h. By factoring out the h, we can cancel out the new h in the numerator and denominator. This will leave you with the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. Looking at the limit, it says as h approaches 0. Since there is only 1 h remaining in our term, we can simply sub in 0 back in. This will give you 2x plus 0, since we are subbing in 0 for the value of h. So, we will get a final answer of 2x. This is how to differentiate using first principles. To make sure your answer is correct, let's differentiate x squared. The differentiation of x squared is simply 2x because we times and then take. Therefore, our answer from first principles is correct. Now let's move on to our next question. Determine from first principles the gradient function for the curve f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x and calculate its value at x is equal to 3. So similarly, like before, let's find out f of x plus h. To find f of x plus h, simply sub in x plus h for the value of x. So this will be 2 into x plus h whole squared minus x plus h. Now let's simplify this. 
x plus h whole squared expanded will be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then minus times x will be minus x and minus times h will be minus h. Now let's continue. 2 times x squared will give you 2x squared. 2 times 2xh will give you 4xh plus 2 times h squared which will give you 2h squared minus x minus h. Since we now know the value of f of x plus h and f of x, let's find the gradient function. Remember, the gradient function is the derivative of the equation. However, we cannot use simple derivatives as it says to find out using first principles. So let's solve this into our limit formula. The limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, which we now know, is 2x squared plus 2xh plus 2h squared minus x minus h minus f of x, which we know is given in the question as 2x squared minus x. Remember, there is a minus sign in front of this, so we times it by minus. Now divide all of this by h. So let's simplify this. 2x squared and minus 2x squared cancel out. Minus x and plus x cancel out. So in our next step of working, let's write out our simplified equation. The limit as h approaches 0 of 2xh plus 2h squared minus h divided by h. Now see if you can factor out a h from the numerator. Factoring out a h will cancel out the h from 2x, a h from 2h squared, and a h from minus h. You can cancel this out with the denominator. So the limit as h approaches 0 will be equal to 2x plus 2h minus 1. Now, try and find out what the next step should be. So since there is only one term with h in it, we can simply sub in 0 back in to the h value. So this will be 2x plus 2 into 0, since we subbed in 0 for h, minus 1. This would equate to your final answer as 2x minus 1. Now looking at the question, it says to calculate its value at x is equal to 3. So to do this part of the question, we simply sub in 3 for the value of x. So it would be 2 into 3 minus 1, which is equal to 6 minus 1, which is equal to 5. 5 will be your final answer for this question. On to our next question. Use differentiation from first principles to find the gradient function of y is equal to 1 over x. So let's say f of x is equal to 1 over x. So f of x plus h should be equal to 1 over x plus h, since we sub in x plus h for the value of x. Now looking at the question, it says to differentiate using first principles. Therefore, we use our limit formula, which is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, which we now know is 1 over x plus h, minus f of x. We know that the value of f of x is 1 over x, so we minus 1 over x, and divide the whole thing by h. This would equate to the limit as h approaches 0. Now, you need to know how to simplify fractions. As you can see in the numerator, we have two fractions. So let's solve with 
a common denominator. So times the top together, and this will give you 1 into x, which is simply equal to x. And then you times z by x plus h times 1. But since the roads are minus, it will be minus x minus h over x times x plus h, which is x squared plus hx. Now divide the whole thing by h, which is already in the denominator. Now, how would we further simplify this? So the limit as h approaches 0 will be equal to, as you can see in the numerator of the top fraction, x minus x will simply give you minus h over x squared plus hx divided by h. Now, how can we get rid of the h in the denominator? So, let's break this down. The limit as h approaches 0 in this question will be equal to minus h over x squared plus hx times 1 over h. Since we are dividing by h, we can simply rotate it and get 1 over h and times it. So let's simplify this. Minus h times h can cancel out to give you minus 1. So this will be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of minus 1 over x squared plus hx. Now, since there is only one term with the letter h, we can simply sub in h is equal to 0 into our new equation. So subbing in 0, you will get minus 1 over x squared plus 0 times x. 0 times x is simply 0. So we can write our final answer as minus 1 over x squared. If you are unsure if your working out is correct, you can always find out the derivative of 1 over x to make sure your answer is correct. So let's find out the derivative of 1 over x. 1 over x can also be simply written as x to the power of minus 1. Now, how do we differentiate x to the power of minus 1? Remember, when deriving, we always times and then take. So let's times the minus 1, which will give you minus x to the power of minus 1, and then take 1, which will give you minus x to the power of minus 2. So by simplifying this, you will get minus 1 over x squared. Since that matches the equation we have found from the first principle, this question is correct. In our next question, we find the limit of f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2x. So in this question, f of x plus h is equal to 3 open bracket x plus h whole squared minus 2 into x plus h. This is because we sub in x plus h for the value of x. So now, let's simplify this. 3 into x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 2x minus 2h. Now let's multiply out the 3. 3 times x squared is 3x squared, 3 times 2xh is 6xh, 3 times h squared is 3h squared. And then add on the rest, which is minus 2x minus 2h. So since we know the value of f of x plus h and the value of f of x, let's begin our working out. 
So the limit as h approaches 0 will be equal to f of x plus h, which we now know is 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h. And then you minus this by f of x. We know the value of f of x is 3x squared minus 2x. However, there is a minus sign before this. So it will be minus 3x squared plus 2x. Now divide this all by h. Have a go at this yourself and let me know in the comments down below if you can answer this question correctly. So let's simplify this. 3x squared minus 3x squared will give you 0. Minus 2x plus 2x will give you 0. So what we are left with is the limit as h approaches 0 is equal to 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2h divided by h. Next, look if we can factor the h out from the numerator. Looking at our numerator, we can cancel out the h from 6x, a h from 3h squared, and a h from minus 2h, and then cancel it with the denominator. This will leave you with the limit as h approaches 0 of 6x plus 3h minus 2. So since there is only one term with the letter h left, we can simply sub in 0 for 3h. This will result to 6x plus 3 times 0 minus 2. Now, by simplifying this, your final answer will be 6x minus 2. To make sure of your answer, we can always derive this by using our faster method d over dx of 3x squared minus 2x. How do we derive this? So we times the 2 by 3, which will give you 6x, and then minus 1 from 2, which will be equal to 6x. And for minus 2x, we times the 1 by minus 2, which will be equal to minus 2, and then take away 1. Therefore, our answer is correct, since they match. If you learned something today, be sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe.